my name is John Payne. I um, run what's called sales engineering uh, within InterSystems. And what I'm going to do is briefly talk to you about who InterSystems are, uh, what our products are, and why that might be of interest to uh, yourselves, the students at Imperial. Uh, following on from my, my section of this, uh, I'll be handing over to my colleague Arzan, who will talk to you a little bit about uh, the graduate, nature of the graduate programs that we, we run within InterSystems. So, moving on. Um, who are InterSystems? Well, you've probably not heard of them, but we're actually quite a large uh, American software company. Our, ter our turnovers sort of in the order of about a billion dollars a year at the moment. Um, we have customers in 80 countries. We've got 35 offices around the world. Headquarters are in Cambridge, but Cambridge, Massachusetts, so that's across the river from Boston. And, and we have some fairly impressive customers for our software because that's who we are, we're a software company. Um, and we're a software company that sells uh, primarily what we call a data platform, um, which historically has been a database, but now is, uh, has uh, many more capabilities we can talk about. And some of those, some of our customers, for example, um, the third biggest stock trading system on the planet uh, runs on our platform. We've got custom, you know, 11 of the top 20 global banks use our, use our platform. Um, there's about, Seven million plus uh, instances of our of our software uh, running uh, as licensed um, deployments, um, and that's in approximately 150,000 different organisations. Uh, primarily, um, our route to market and why most people have never heard of us is that we we tend to sell through. Um, our large partner network. So we have many application partners who build applications and sell those into various different markets and as a result of which uh, sell the InterSystem platform also. So we that large partner community is largely why generally you'll have heard of our partners but perhaps not so much about us. One of the things that differentiates InterSystems from other software companies is that we have very strong capabilities, both in terms of reliability and scalability for the platform, but also um, our customers really like the company and the product. So let's talk a little bit about what, what InterSystems Iris is. And fundamentally, this is a, a platform for storing and consuming and managing and doing interesting, th interesting things with data. And it has a number of attributes that support that. So the first is we can consume data in pretty much any format from any source. So this, is, this comes under the heading of being multi-model. So you can have a SQL view or an object view or a document view or a JSON view or many different types of view of data. But that data only exists within our platform once. There's only one copy of it, but you can then manipulate it according to the paradigm that's appropriate to the work that you're doing. And what this means be is that fundamentally we can then start to mix transactional and analytical types of workload on the same platform on a single copy of that data. And to that end, we have a variety of analytic capabilities embedded within the platform as well as those functions required to consume, store, process data. Now, in order to support the connectivity aspects of consuming or, 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 or delivering data, we also have uh, interoperability capabilities in the platform as well. Now, together, this set of capabilities um, until recently, we, we've called a, a data platform. Uh, more recently, um, the market has started to, to use the term a data fabric. And given that we have the embedded analytics and BI within, within our platform, they're calling it a smart data fabric. And I'll, I'll come on to who's calling it that uh, in a minute. So what differentiates us? Real-time high performance. So... You know, one of one of our one of our customers 
of, for example, the one that has 15% of the world's stock trades going through a single platform. Um, they've never had any issues with latency, with timing. You know, they're doing sub-millisecond trading out of this for literally billions and billions of trades a day, 24 by 7, all the way around the planet. So it scales up from the very big down to the very small. So we have people managing, for example, patient-centric devices um, using our platform in, in IoT world. And it simplifies architectures. So it means that you can deploy highly capable solutions either on-premise or in the cloud with a very small number of components. This collapsing the stack into a single data fabric architecture means that not only the costs of running your production environments, but also the complexity associated with creating systems and managing those systems is greatly reduced. That then obviously has lots of attraction to people because it means that businesses can be both more, most, both more agile and also uh, cost efficient. So, it's a, so the database aspect, aspect is highly performant. So it's, as, it's fast, we're as fast as you know, the in-memory databases, but it's fully persistent, it's fully uh, robust and resilient. We've got uh, analytics built in, we've got a number of AI capabilities built in, we've got natural language processing capabilities built in. And it scales horizontally and vertically, so multiple cores, multiple instances, and we have t technology which guarantees consistency across that view. So it's not like uh, a number of the cloud databases out there where you'll do a transaction and eventually you'll get consistency across a distributed estate. Um, in systems IRIS guarantees consistency when you do the transaction. So any deployments on, on premises or across, across any type of cloud, all have the same presentation, the same API to access data, to process data, to consume data. Absolutely, there's a complete choice of cloud that you may want to deploy in. And we have customers in AWS, in GCP, in Azure. We've got some customers in IBM. Uh, VMware is a, a popular platform. We're seeing more adoption in Tencent and indeed Ali Cloud, which are the, the two major uh, cloud vendors in China and uh, a big part of Asia Pacific. And the other, one of the other characteristics of our platform is that whilst we provide a standard environment for people to deploy and run their applications to consume and process data, we do make the effort to take advantage of uh, specific capabilities of the different cloud implementations underneath the cover. And not only different cloud implementations, but also different hardware. So we're down to the chip set, you know, we'll have different uh, in instruction sets uh, being used um, depending on uh, where and how you're deployed. As well as the clouds, obviously, uh, the, other, the other components is, you know, what, what is the runtime platform? What is the operating system that we run on? So server platforms is every flavor of Unix that's robust and is, is out there. Um, the usual suspects there, we have a couple of others that we support as, uh, for as development platforms plus Windows. A lot of our deployments these days are done via containers, and Docker is the most uh, popular way of doing that, though we, we do um, uh, have customers that are working with our, 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 the containers that we provide uh, using other container management platforms, and I've already talked about the, uh, the cloud elements. Now, what sort of recognition do we actually have in the marketplace, um, given that Many people have never actually heard of us. Well, if we go and look at what some of the, the chief market analysts are saying, there's, and here there's, there's two very big uh, organizations, Gartner and Forrester, who basically between them pretty much lead the technology uh, analyst field. And they look at very many different aspects of 
technology um, in in the global marketplace. And they both sort of recognizing InterSystems as a sort of you know, leading vendor uh, with many different um, capabilities that uh, make our platform outstanding. One of the one of the key differentiators, as I mentioned before, is that we generally have that a very high rates of customer satisfaction. When a customer, when a, an organization starts working with our platform, they tend to stick with it. They tend not to look to move. Uh, and as a result of which we tend to have our customers for a very long period of time. And one, one of the things that I, I didn't mention, you know, we're, we're actually um, over 40 years old as a, as a technology company, which is quite unusual in itself. And we still have a number of our first first customers. You know, they're still customers of us. So people that signed with <coughs> InterSystems 40 years ago are still using our products and platforms. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, one of the, the things that I've not mentioned yet is that we tend to uh, specialize in certain marketplaces and 80% of our business is done in healthcare. And as a result of that, what we've done is we've developed our healthcare ecosystem um, quite significantly as a result of that. So on top of our InterSystems Iris platform, we have a specialized specialization that's called Iris for Health. And the, the differentiator there is that there's a large quantity of healthcare standards and healthcare interoperability uh, support um, provisioned within our InterSystems IRS for Health. And we then use those capabilities within several enterprise applications that we have ourselves. So TrackCare is an electronic patient record that runs hospitals. HealthShare is what's called a shared care record platform that runs health information exchanges. So these are ways to share clinical information about patients across a, uh, a, a county or across a region or across a country. Uh, we then have very many partners who are creating solutions on top of Iris for Health and De delivering those into the marketplace. So the NHS in the UK is our biggest healthcare customer, but we have a number of other software companies who deliver solutions into uh, the UK healthcare market who are based on our platform. But healthcare, whilst it's sort of the dominant market for us, isn't the only one. Um, it, you know, it's worth sort of giving a little bit of an indication as to the, the scale of our involvement. Something like you know, about 60% of the acute hospitals in the UK use uh, a derivative of Iris for, for Health to, ma to, to manage their integration requirements. We have many others running different types of electronic medical record, lab system, regional shared care record programs, as well as applications from our partners. And some of the software partners listed here, or well, many of these are in the healthcare domain. Some of them are in other spaces, such as financial services or public safety. And indeed, if we look at these in a little more detail, this shows just some of the company, customers that we have in the financial services space, in supply chain and manufacturing. And so hopefully this gives you a flavor to the nature and extent that we cover um, not just uh, industries within the UK, but worldwide. And so we do uh, a lot of work with not just companies uh, within specific countries, not just with specific governments. So we work with the NHS in the UK, we work with um, federal organizations in the US, Australia, other countries, but also we work with a wide variety of different types of organization in the healthcare space, ranging from uh, people who run hospitals through to big, you know, big pharmaceutical companies 
who are doing clinical research who need to obtain complex uh, and large data sets uh, about uh, patient populations and provide and uh, undertake analytics on those as part of drug research, drug trials, uh, precision medicine, uh, looking at matching genomic characteristics with clinical data to understand better how, how to predict um, whether people are, are going to be susceptible to particular conditions and whether they might be in a position where they might benefit from uh, new uh, treatments that might be coming out, for example. It's a common uh, use of our platform. All right. So I talked a little bit about healthcare standards, and I just wanted to sort of mention a little bit more about these because it is, it is quite a big differentiator for for us in, in the healthcare market in terms of the breadth of the various standards organisations. And on the left are all uh, st uh, healthcare standards organisations which are international. And these are ways to basically transport information from A to B or to support clinical workflow, clinical operation or to support citizens such as you or I looking at and interacting with healthcare data and those organisations that are producing or consuming that healthcare data. So there's many different standards that operate in that sphere and we're active not only in supporting those but we're also active in those organisations that define those. So organisations like HL7, like IHE, uh, like supply of supply uh, organisations such as Interopen in the UK, the Da Vinci Project in uh, in the US. So as a as a as a company, this, this gives a good example as to the breadth of what we do in terms of engaging with with our our customers and, and the markets that we operate in. You know, we don't just uh, sell software. Uh, sell a license to somebody and then just walk away and leave them to it. It's all about helping people get the best advantage out of our technology. And one of the ways that we do that is by not only being in, engaged with our customers, but also being engaged with the industries and markets within the, which they operate. And that then enables us to provide a better service to our customers and also enables us to uh, provide better products, more applicable solutions, uh, capabilities that our customers can more readily engage with and take advantage of. So, I'd just like to talk a little bit uh, about the, the university outreach program that we have, which is uh, why we're talking to you today. And this really has a number of characteristics, one of which is supporting events, one of which is uh, the provision of software licenses for research or academic processes, um, one of which, which is the next presentation that Arzan is going to take you into, is about an internship and graduate placement program, which I'd like to sort of move on to next. So thank you for listening to me. And what I'd like to do now is to hand over to Arzan. So uh, hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Arzan. I'm the recruitment team lead here at InterSystems. And I'll be uh, talking to you about our EMEA graduate program. Um, so this is just to tell you how to have a head start with InterSystems in your career. Uh, so we don't only hire for our UK office um, and we're based in Windsor. We also have an office in Edinburgh in Scotland, um, but also we hire across our European offices. And these are some of our graduates uh, from our Germany, France and UAE. So how does our program look like? It's uh, a structured program. Uh, we have our training in our different platforms, uh, in our different products. So we have uh, our graduates can work on IRIS 
or track care or our health share product. Um, you'll have a mentor during your program, um, and we offer um, trainings, technical, but also business uh, skills, project management, analytics, uh, AI, um, and also our uh, graduates are treated like full-time employees, so you will be customer-facing if your role um, requires it, um, doing problem-solving, uh, working on project, but also um, being front face with our um, implementation team or our sales team. So the qualifications that we're looking for are uh, graduates who already graduated or soon to be uh, graduating, uh, bachelors or masters uh, looking at computer science, physics or math, bioengineering, civil engineering uh, and STEM. Uh, so we're really looking across um, the different uh, uh, degrees. So where do we where do we hire in our EMEA offices? We have our office in the UK, in France, in Italy, Finland, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, and in the UAE. So if you're a student here in the UK, but you know you are maybe an international student or you want to move to another country, then we do offer graduates and in some countries they're interns or working students or um, apprentices. So we offer that as well. So why um, our program and what's the benefits? It's customized by country, so it's not one set rule. We hire during the whole year, so it's not that we only have one specific month You know that we have our, our graduates starting. Uh, we can have our, our program six months or nine months or one year, really depending on the local needs, but also depending on the student as well. We have competitive salaries, so it is a paid internship or a graduate program. Um, and this can lead to a full-time employment. And that's really our, our goal, to have this person uh, be a full-time employee. But if they chose not to uh, be with us full-time empl uh, employee, then, you know, they will have the inter-system, there'll be an inter-system technology expert. So our, uh, our clients or our uh, um, um so yes, our clients would want to hire you because you know you have our uh, technology experience, and also you'll be ready for external mar market. These are some of our success stories across our um, uh, our European offices. So we have here Nick. Um, he started off as a, an intern in our Russia office, and now is leading uh, as the country manager for Russia. Um, and he joined us, you know, 20 years ago. We have Alex, again, she joined us around 15 years ago. She started off as an intern in our Germany office, but currently she's based in our Boston office in the US and she's heading our commercial initiatives as the director there. We have Thomas, he started off as an intern in Cambridge office, but now moved to our Germany office and he's our sales manager there. And we have Yunji, she is um, a graduate. Um, she started in the Cambridge office. She's an MIT student. And now she is uh, heading our development team uh, in the US. So this is my team. Um, so we have Liz. She is based in the UK, but is hiring graduates for Netherlands, Belgium, Finland, and France. Uh, we have Jessica, she is hiring uh, graduates for our Germany office. We have Ludovica, she's hiring for our Italian office. Tracy, she's hiring for our UK office. And then myself, specifically for interns, I'm hiring in the UAE. We have a lot of events for our interns. So I think like July 21, there it's ice cream day or it's an intern day so that there's you know, they eat ice cream. So last year we were not working in our office, so we had it virtually and our interns across the EMEA offices came together and ate ice cream, um, you know, on Teams. Um, we have this uh, second picture, the one that has a lot of people in. This is was a meeting with our senior uh, leadership and e all the students had, a ch or the graduates had a chance to say something about themselves, but also the managers, um, you know, gave them you know, advice or a career, you know, uh, uh, do's or don'ts. So it was a really nice uh, one hour uh, um, event. 
Um, this one, we were back in the office. It was um, on. Uh, it was uh, lunch, and again, it was a meeting. First time that they all met um, uh, in person together. So where to apply? You can uh, email me directly. Um, you know, if for if you have a specific country that you want to apply for, um, and um, I'll be able to answer your questions. You can also look at our career uh, page. Um, also, I'm on LinkedIn, so uh, I post a lot of jobs there as well, and my team do too. Um, and that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.